What's going on, everybody? It's Clint from the Die Hard MMA Podcast. This is the episode for UFC Vegas 22. Make sure you click that link below, head on over to odds.com, give us a thumbs up, and good luck on all your betting action this week. Back to UFC Vegas 22. We've got the final fight on the preliminary card here. Marion Renault taking on Macy Chasson. Marion Renault, 9 6 and 1, still doing the damn thing at like, what, 43 years old? This woman is unreal, and the shape she's in just never ceases to amaze me at that age. Uh, Macy Chasson, the Fortis MMA product, they got a couple of people here on this card, and 7 and 1, only tasted defeat once. Very hyped prospect, somebody that a lot of people had some big expectations for and just has not looked all that impressive so far in her UFC run. What's your read on this one, man? How do you feel about this fight? You know, this is definitely one I was looking to fade Macy when it first got booked. Uh, and I actually did the tape for this one the first time it got canceled. Um, so I, in watching that, I've also, also, on the other side, I've been a big fan of Renault. You know, uh, I don't know if I picked her against Holly, but, you know, I definitely was, I, I definitely was scared away from the line on that one. I, I, respect for Marion. However, when I go back to watch the tape, I feel like a lot of that aggression that's kind of in my head, that physicality that maybe you think is in your head that she has or should have, um, despite her age, I mean, she she is a, a she's a real athlete. You know? uh, she's got yes. some decent power. She can box. Uh, she's got the brown belt, I believe now a black belt at this point in time of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. You know, done camps with Chris Cyborg. You're like, oh yeah, checkbox, checkbox, checkbox. But she is less confident. She seems less physical. And when she is, or whether she's confident about it or not, but the bottom line is she's connecting. It feels like she's getting a lot less bang for her buck as far as hurting or at least even scaring off opponents. I'm seeing all these trend very negatively. And say what you will about Macy, but that those are her attributes. She's got the aggression. She's got that physicality coming down. You know, even her, her most staunch critics, I think, can admit these things that perhaps she fills in where Renault doesn't. Um, and then seeing, and again, nothing against Pennington. Pennington's one of those maddening uh, neutralizing fighters where you can't discount her out, but even though what you're seeing on tape doesn't look that impressive. Um, so I, I don't want to condemn her for that, but you just see you're kind of getting muscled around in the clinch maybe when she shouldn't be. That is Renault. Uh, I don't like it again in the small cage in the clinch where Macy, whether she has any right to be so confident, she's very confident. She gets a lot of her money made in that clinch. So um, I'm probably going to get on Macy's side here. Um, no bet as of now. Okay. So I've seen a whole lot of love out there for Marion Renault, and uh, I can understand simply because of kind of how we mentioned Macy's been just a little bit underwhelming and maybe a little bit too big of a favorite here. You know, she opened up minus 240. Some money's come in on Marion Renault. Renault sitting around plus 170 at this point, and I'm seeing a lot of love online for her. I got to tell you, man, I may be lining up on the Macy Chase on side here with you, and I might even be willing to pull the trigger on a bet. The thing with Marion, that that age, it, it's going to dip off a cliff. Like She's in incredible shape. She's an athlete. She's explosive. But at that age, you just can't keep it up. At a certain point, she will dip off. She will fade, and we're starting to see it. It's happening. It's getting there. She's on a bad run right now where she's just been physically outmatched by her opponents. And now she's taking on a fighter who is much, much younger than she is. And the one thing that Macy is really, really good at is being strong. She likes to pin her opponents up against the fence. She likes to grind them against the cage. When she goes for the trips and the takedowns and she gets on top of them, she manages well from the top position. She's not going to get caught in like a nasty arm bar or something like that that she doesn't see coming. And she's got these big clinch knees, man. In the, in the clinch, like you mentioned, the knees, the elbows, the Muay Thai, it's on point. And we're in the small cage. There's not going to be a lot of room for Marion to, to maneuver. Being at the reach disadvantage, the boxing, it's going to be hard to use. I think Chason's going to beat her up from the outside, and when they get in close, it's going to be Macy Chason all day, reversing position, pressing her up against the fence, maybe hitting some takedowns, catching something and putting her on the ground. She's not anything that I want to write home about. I'm not a big fan of Macy Chason, but I think this is the UFC softball in one end, man. I think they want to get her some confidence, get her a good name on her record, get a decent win on her, and get her moving in the right direction, build that confidence, and potentially have one of the next women stars on their hands. It's going to take some time, but this is step one, and I think she should get the win here. Yeah, whether it's her camp or the UFC, obviously the UFC is the say. But back to your previous point, this could be one that maybe it's not a it's not a coincidence that the booking remained intact. 
someone wanted this fight to happen. So uh, I will say that and add in the one weakness on Renault's footwork is, or her boxing is her footwork, which is why she doesn't produce as much offense. She allows the fight to come to her again. Bad news in the small cage in this matchup, probably. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. Could not agree more with that. So the pick for me is Macy Chase on. I'm hoping more money comes in on Renault because I might pull the trigger on Macy if it gets low enough for me. Not a huge fan of laying two to one here in this spot, but uh, we'll see what happens by Saturday.